Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Houston's Hustle Hobbies. I'm Patrick Houston, and on this show I like to talk about all the interesting ways that I make and save money because I'm about to be in traffic for the next 10 minutes because there's an accident ahead. So I wanted to spend this time to talk to you guys about renting a car for $9 a day. I'm going to tell you how, and it's stupid, but it works. You know, your regular rental cars, you know, will cost, you know, from anywhere between $50 a day on Toro on up to $200 a day on Enterprise. So the problem with that is, you know, you can't, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a big drain on your money. So the way you do it is this. You'll, what you'll need a couple of things, a couple of prerequisites. You'll need a credit score of at least 620 and $2,000. If you can't find $2,000, use your credit card. Uh, if you have a $2,000 credit limit on your credit card, use your credit card or save $2,000. It's not very hard. It's about a month of diligence. So what you are to do is find a car for $10,000 and finance it. That's it. If you, if you break the, well, if you break the numbers down, let's run the numbers. Um, if you Say if you get a 36 month uh, financing term on a $10,000 car with uh, you know some amount of interest, it won't matter if you're aggressive enough. Uh, the interest won't matter. But you know, I'm assuming you know if you have like a you know if you have like a 630 credit score, you need to build your credit up so you're going to get a higher interest rate. So it is something to factor. But the way I look at it is this. You'll have the car for 36 months or 1,095 days. So that's basically um, three years. And I basically took the $10,000 loan and divided it by 10, 1,095, which is the number of days that you'll have the car. And I came out to roughly $9 a day. Uh, $9 a day to rent a car, you know, of course, that's not including gas and insurance, but if you want to factor that in, um, it's going to, you know, raise that cost up, you know, slightly, maybe up to, I'm going to say something closer to $15 a day. So if you get to a point, you know, where you have some decent credit, you know, uh, this is the way to rent a car for um, nine dollars a day now let me tell you about a hack that I just did recently um, the way you do it uh, it's more important is when you finance your car for that 36 month term don't do anything to it no car mods no no funky wings no fart cans no cherry bombs no snorkel air intakes don't even put a radio in it they have little Bluetooth dongle doodad things that will do the job just fine. Um, if all you need is to connect your phone to your radio or something like that, don't do anything to it. The only reason why I say that is because uh, doing that will make the car worth less than uh, you know it is once it comes time to trade it in. Um, I'll tell you what I just did with my two cars. I had a Dodge Grand Caravan, 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan. I bought that for $18,000. I kept it for five years and I sold it for $12,000. Uh, I did the same thing with my 2013 Toyota Prius. I bought that car for $11,000 and I sold it for $9,000. So doing that, basically turns your liability uh the debt of your car into an asset so in that three years of you renting that car you know you could do whatever you want with it amazon flex uber get back and forth to work you know anything you need to do with it and you'll be making huge amounts of money and you give the car back so now you have a ten thousand dollar car that's the interesting thing about a ten thousand dollar car it's right at that precipice where nothing major is going to happen to it. But at the same time, um, 
in that three years, you're going to be at the point where major stuff starts happening to it. So you'll be getting rid of it right before that stuff happens if you're lucky. So I hope that helps because, I mean, it sure did help me. Um, it's the easiest way to flip a car uh, over a year's time and uh, make it still be tax deductible. I'll talk about that in my um, tax adventures um, segment. Anyway, thanks for listening to me, guys. And as always, live high, live mighty, live righteously. Take it easy.